Well, I would like to present uh, to all of you greetings from uh, Interpol Secretary General, Mr. Ronald Kenneth Noble, who was not able to join us uh, today. As his director of a cabinet uh, and chief of staff uh, for the last uh, 13 years, uh, I owe him uh, all my respect. Uh, that's why I would like to start uh, with a quote uh, from him. Security is not expensive, it's priceless. It is not just a slogan, it is a way of life. Actually, every day, citizens from across the globe rely on critical infrastructures for the water, energy, rail, ground and transportation, as well as internet. What most of us don't realize is that each and every one of us has a part to play in protecting these vital infrastructures. The Turn Back Right campaign has been created for this very purpose. It is about raising public awareness to such threats to our infrastructures and how to make communities more resilient to these threats. I do believe uh, that uh, these threats uh, can be overcome uh, both uh, by those of us uh, who are professional and those of us uh, who are ordinary citizens uh, also through raised awareness. I have some questions. Do the majority of people who are not professionals know what weapon of mass destruction are or mean? Uh, if I ask my mother, she might think about the atomic bomb, but not more than that. Do the majority of people know what we mean by critical infrastructures and see the vulnerability? Could they ever imagine that the electricity or the heating system at their home can be sabotaged by terrorists? Do the majority of people know that biological materials and emerging technologies could be used for criminal purposes to jeopardize their health and safety? Could they ever imagine the water being tar targeted but for an attack? The Turn Back Crime campaign is about knowing how to voice concerns and teaching hopefully, how to overcome them. The campaign is a global in scope across all 190 Interpol member countries. The campaign that exists, exists for the purpose of creating awareness, generating engagement, encouraging action. The campaign targets the general public, businesses, and governments. At the heart of the Turn Back campaign, there are three core beliefs. To speak a universal language so that people understand the threats of more than their crime. To motivate the public to play a role in turning back crime and to break down the barriers to facilitate multidisciplinary cooperation among all sectors of societies. society. Putting these three beliefs into action requires a new approach. This is why the Turn Back Crime campaign asks law enforcement, businesses, asks our communities, asks uh, our families and ask uh, all of us uh, to think new ways to prevent and fight all uh, type of criminal threats by changing the way we think, behave, and by working together. The campaign tried to ask some questions, uh, like for example, how can we change uh, our shopping habits uh, to avoid buying counterfeit goods uh, which turn uh, feed organized crime uh, and possibly terrorism? What should I look for uh, and how can I report uh, suspicious behavior 
that could suggest a potential threat in a high impact area such as airports, sports venue, or shopping malls. These are all examples of raising situational awareness which can make the difference between being a survivor or being a victim. My experience as a senior Italian but also international police officer has trained me to detect risks and threats. Like me, and better than me, many of the law enforcement officers in this room know that certain kinds of activity can be reason for suspicion. But does the general public do business know how to do this? As with all crime, the public has also a role to play in fighting terrorism and in protecting their own towns, cities, and nations. But citizens are not necessarily aware of how terrorist acts or criminal activities are perpetrated and more of all, funded. We therefore ask the public to remain vigilant and to report anything suspicious. We want citizens and businesses to avoid getting involved in criminal activities where the links to organized crime are not immediately obvious. People selling counterfeit goods from the back of a van could easily be raising funds for a terrorist attack. We learned that uh, situational awareness uh, can, uh, has, and will save lives, uh, integrity, money, and also heartache. However, it is not only about informing and educating society, it is also about generating engagement, encouraging action, giving uh, the, to these, uh, these stakeholders a role uh, a voice. Do you remember the street vendor who sounded the alarm in the failed May 2010 Times Square bombing plot? Do you remember the retail clerk who in 2007 tipped the FBI to a plot to attack for Dix and saved many lives? We saw a presentation yesterday on this case. Do you remember the spec spectators who helped the FBI to identify the perpetrators of the Boston Marathon bombing through their, through their photos. Turnback Crime provides the necessary channels to empower people to help law enforcement ensure public security. This campaign has also the ambitious aim to counter a culture of fear. The fear of crime is becoming almost as pervasive and harmful as crime itself. With turn back crime, we want to empower citizens. We don't want them to live in fear of terrorism or other forms of serious crime. We have seen communications used to instill fear. We now want to use the, the same communications tool uh, to create feelings of uh, empowerment, security, hope. Actually, we hope to replace fear with knowledge. I grew up in the south of Italy, understanding that uh, Sicilian Mafia took pride in making people fearful to testify against them. Those who did their stand up for justice paid the ultimate price as shown by the assassination of the famous Italian magistrate, among other, Giovanni Falcone, as well as his bodyguards. This magistrate, as, well, as many of you know, had, had worked closely to Mr. Louis Free and the FBI to dismantle these cruel mafia-type groups. Mr. Luis Free, in his speech at Mr. Falcone's funeral in Palermo, said, Giudice Falcone fearless and total pursuit of the rule of law in the face of the most lethal and intimidating circumstances is an inspiration to
to law officer for all seasons. Giovanni Falcone was uh, and is uh, the highest proof uh, that we are strong because we are free. We are free because we are strong. The Boston Marathon bombing in 2013 is another example of a generating fear. It is outrageous for me to think that a pressure cooker was used as an explosive device. An innocuous kitchen appliance became a symbol of a terror. Even as a police officer, even now and then I cook. And I now look at the appliances and other household objective, objects differently, wondering which of them could be converted into a bomb by terrorists. Remember, you are not alone. In becoming part of the Turn Back Crime campaign, you become part of the 190 country strong family. Take a look at how many mem Interpol member countries have engaged in the campaign, which, as I said, started only one month ago. China, Argentina, Colombia, Indonesia, France, Malaysia, Monaco, Qatar, Slovenia, Tanzania, Thailand, Yemen, online support via social media has also come from Ireland, United States of America, Canada, UK, the Netherlands, South Africa, Ecuador, the Caribbean, and the Association Chief of Police. Quoting again the words of Interpol Secretary General, security is not expensive, it's priceless. It is not just a slogan, it's a way of life. I would like to end my speech with a positive note, with hope. We believe it is time to turn the tables. We believe it is time to turn back crime altogether. Thank you for your attention.